This conference will now be recorded. Hi, uh, this is Venkat. Today I am going to explain uh, some of the informatic control questions and answers. First one, how to load a processed flat file name into target table? So in general, in real time, sometimes you may need to process single flat file or sometimes you may need to process multiple flat files. So if your flat file is used and you are loading from multiple flat files, so you want to know that record came from which flat file. So if you don't load uh, the corresponding flat file name, it is very difficult to identify. You have to manually go on search to avoid that. So we can load which flat file name uh, along with that record. You can enable that option here. In the source definition, flat file source definition, select source analyzer tool, double click here. So go to property step, there is option here. Add correctly processed file name port. Enable this checkbox. Apply. So the port added, you can now uh, drag that port from source to source qualifier and then to target. So in that way, uh, in the target table, you can easily identify that record loaded from which flat file. So how to skip header from flat file? So here we have one option, number of initial rows to skip. So double click on this, go to advanced tab. So here you see number of initial rows to skip by default zero. If you specify one, then it will skip the header. How to skip top three rows from flat file? The same property we can use. So here, advanced number of initial rows to skip three if you give three top three rows will be removed so not only three any number of n number of rows you can skip while reading from flat file you can use this pocket number of initial rows to skip how to skip portal from flat file suppose if your portal is constant always you are getting portal so what you need to do is in the first field itself you can read the content by maintaining string data type so in the filter transformation you can use the first port where uh, you are giving name name not equal to footer whatever the constant you are getting you can now put in the filter that record you can drop remaining records you can move further how to skip hash symbol in the header of a flat file? Suppose you are uh, generating a flat file from the table. So at that time, you specify header with the column names. But if you observe, hash symbol comes at the beginning. How to avoid that one? So you can avoid that one using custom property. Go to config object. Select custom properties. See here remove output header hash equal to yes if you do this then you won't see that hash symbol many people here confuse they go for unix and they try to remove the hash symbol it's not required you can use the custom book how do you load multiple flat files data at the same time so if we have file indirect method you can use that to remove multiple sorry to load multiple flat files data at a time so if you go to mapping tab select your source qualifier so here option is there source file type you need to select indirect so by default it is direct you need to select source file type indirect and you need to specify list of file names you know to load into another file that file name you need to do as a source file name. So what are prerequisites uh, to use file indirect method? Number of columns should be same, data type should match, uh, header if it's not there, it should not be there. One flat file should contain header and one flat file should not contain header, it won't work like that. So all flat files should follow either header available or header not available, similarly for footer as well. How many ways you can create a flat file source? There are two ways. Generally, you can create so one 
option is go to sources create is one option or another way is sources import from file here are the two options how can you eliminate uh, duplicate records from flat file there are different ways in the unix if you want to do sort type on view file name if you want to do in informatica what you need to do is you need to do sorted transformation in the properties tab you need to enable distinct option so how to fail a session after three errors so here in the config object you have option stop on errors by default it is zero so if you give three it will stop after three errors if you give one when the first error comes itself it will fail in general in real time we give stop on errors one whenever the first error comes the session should fail thank you for more updates please like and subscribe